Assalamualaikum, it's your girl Yanti and guess where I am? That's right, the amazing city of Hat Nyai. This trip was a blast even though the rain tried to crash the party so buckle up because we're about to explore Hat Nyai rain or shine. Assalamualaikum guys, welcome back to Halaloji. It's time for another adventure and today we are heading to Hat Nyai. We are departing from Alostak. We are taking KTM commuter today to Padang Besar. Now, let's rewind for a bit. First things first, we had to grab our train ticket to Padang Besar. It's super easy. You can just use a machine or the KTM B mobile app to purchase the ticket. The fare is five ringgit seventy cent for a one-way ticket which is awesome. The train ride itself was a blast. It's a perfect chance to relax and watch the beautiful paddy face roll by across Kedah and Perlis. So we have arrived here at Padang Besar after one hour train ride and right now I'm walking towards the exit and I'm not sure if we are taking a train to Hanyai today because there was a bombing like less than two weeks ago, 10 km of Sadao train track and it killed several people, the workers, so perhaps we are taking a van today. Boleh yeah. If you're walking, the distance is just around like one kilometer towards the immigration but because I have my aunt here who's disabled so perhaps we're going to take a cab to go to the immigration. taken a ride uh, by car to the immigration so it costs us the driver give us a discount during it so we're gonna go there and uh, do our custom check and then we're gonna take a minivan at the south outside so there's another alternative also you can either take a taxi or you can buy the ticket at the counter to we have a minivan at 10 ringgit you can also buy a vip bars ticket that will take you from Padang Besar all the way to Hat Nyai directly for 30 ringgit or 40 ringgit if I'm not mistaken but we're gonna go with the minibus option at Sadao later on. So that's the queue. It's quite long but I guess that the line is moving quite fast so I believe we can enter within like 30 minutes. Okay guys change of plan so we're taking a private car to go to the Hat Nyai and we pay like 30 ringgit per person so because this one they will drive us into the custom instead of we have to queue for the public transportation one and the experience would be the same as you are driving into Hat Nyai actually not so many people queuing over there We are queuing here at the border control. It will take like around 15 minutes, so we have to have the passport as well as the white card, and we have to put two ringgit inside here, like a coffee fee for the custom there. We just stamp our passport. I don't know how long does it take. Perhaps like 30 minutes. So as soon as we're done, our driver waited for us outside of the immigration counter. It's very convenient actually. We just book the private car. If you want a cheaper option there. 60 ringgit per seat for the van to Hat Nyai. You guys can follow that map and walk to the van station. Okay, so we just got out from the car and the driver took us here somewhere in I think like this is like a van station to transfer us to the hotel in Hat Nyai. They're gonna send us right away to the hotel. We 
we have got it in the minivan after like 30 minutes wait because they are waiting for like the van to be full like 10 people and luckily because we are early we got in first and we get the space here to put our luggage Alhamdulillah so we're gonna go and depart to Hatnyai which will take around 1 hour plus there is an accident on the way Finally guys, we are arriving now at Hatnai for close like one and a half hour ride. Right? It was raining heavily today and I think the rain has stopped. So we have arrived at Terminal 1 bus station and those who would like to go to Phuket will have to drop by here. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> So we have arrived here at the middle of Hat Nyai and our driver just now just drove us at the main road because he said this road is one way and our hotel is right at that side. <laughs> By the way, just now we have to wait for like 30 minutes at the van station for it to depart and then another close to two and a half hour from that van station in Padang Mesa to arrive here in Hat Nyai because it is Saturday afternoon here and the traffic is congested and he has to stop at several places but the good thing about uh, taking the van is that you can ask them to just drop you by along the way wherever that you want to drop off from the van so it's very suitable for those of you who have a small budget to travel you guys can take this otherwise if you are traveling with large group you can just use grab app it's around like 600 baht so it's kind of okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go for lunch first at Khalid restaurant which is on our way to the hotel and then we're gonna proceed to check in because right now it's close to 12 o'clock let's go and have our lunch restaurant so it's open from 6 a.m. if you want to have breakfast or so you can go here nasi krabu small out most of the food I like krabu and everything we always eat it during breakfast I'm not planning to eat nasi krabu today because that's Malaysian food so I'm gonna try something Thailand today so this is the menu I'm thinking of ordering from the menu because there's nothing much for the food here so I ordered Thai iced tea but I bring like half of it Nasi goreng pataya It's like fried rice wrapped with egg I ordered this So this is beef salad Alright guys, it's time to eat This beef salad is no joke It is so spicy that my ears are on fire Alhamdulillah, we finished our lunch and the total for both of us is around 185 baht with the egg bread fried rice, rice with beef salad and the drinks. So right now we are heading to our hotel which is just right at the end of this pond. I saw ayam gole, madam gole which is like grilled chicken. I believe it is open during night time. We'll see if we ever get the chance to try it out. Sampai dah. It's raining heavily guys but our hotel check-in time is at 2 o'clock. We have like around 1 hour to go so what we're gonna do is we are going to the Kim Yong market first to do some shopping and then after that we'll come back to check-in. Thank you! Oh no! Kenapa dia berkilat-kilat ada gula ke apa? Berapa minyak? Berapa tu? Fifty satu satu kilo. Malam baru beli tak sempat makan pun. Kau 
much? 1,000 1 kilo. 1,000 1 kilo. This one? 400. This one 400? 400? 400. 1 kilo. Okay, this one? Same. 400. This one from Thailand? Australia. Australia. Okay, so good. the surrounding area of Kim Yong Market and over here there are a lot of food selling fruits also food and the uh, skewer fried skewer there are plenty much of things to eat and see here but I'm gonna buy some snacks and I've also bought lime juice just now what is this? orange fresh orange? that one sugar cane? yes can I have one orange? Guys, I just tried this lime juice. It's 100% pure lime. You can taste the sourness, but it is sweet, very sweet, and it is very concentrated juice of lime. So I bought two. Aside from food, we can also find some stores selling flowers. I believe this is for prayers. They have like chrysanthemum roses, baby breath, what else did I see? Orchids, but unfortunately we can't buy that. I'll just walk around first and see what are the foods and snacks that we can buy here. Oh my god, so huge. Long one. Tom yum ni yang ni berapa? Tom yum ni kau. Yang besar tu. Kalau nak beli tiga boleh bagi kurang tak? Kalau tak ni empat. Empat. Seratus lapan puluh. Ni pun dengan empat. Ni nak dua puluh. Saya lop dua puluh bat. Oh, lah sikit je. Dua puluh bat je. Mari mahal dah lah. Ia. Saya sikit je lah. Saya juga tak mahal lah. Satu pedang mana ni? Tiga dua ratus bat. Okay guys, so if you are here in Thailand, in Hat Nyai, they sell two different brands of Tom Yum paste. This one is Thai Tom Yum. The image is like this. And the other one is also Thai Tom Yum. But they have trim a logo in front of the Tom Yum paste. And this one, they sell it at 160 baht. And this one is 180 baht. Hmm, you see, this sama? I see sama, yeah. Oh, okay. Tapi Malaysia kata yang ni sedap lagi lah. Kalau orang Thailand mata sama. Both of them taste the same but this one is cheaper, cheaper by 20 baht. So I'm getting this guys. Three of the big one is 900 gram and the small one is for 54 gram. For this one, 120. I asked them to give me a good discount. And this one, 170. Okay, so total is 750 baht. Thank you for the tangkan and the there's a Chatravoy milk tea and red tea. They don't have the gold one here. There's only red. They sell you really gold lah. This one is Monblo. Yeah. This one is Monblo. Yeah. This one is Monblo. 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 From persimmon, I asked them from where is it they sell it, they tell it from Korea, but the color is a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna try one first. If it's good, then I'm gonna buy one kilo. Because it looks so big, and in Malaysia, it's kind of expensive. And there are plenty of choice of nuts and cashew here. This one is roasted with skin. This one is also roasted. This one is goreng. Uh, half kilo, I try first. Basically, this one is a little bit dry because mm, usually the one that I can buy at the local supermarket at my house, you can feel the moist. This one, I think, is a little bit dry and usually the color, you can still see the skin is orangey. This one, everything has some white. This one goreng or oven? Baka. How much? 380, 1 kilo, 1 kilo, 100, 150 baht. Green milk 250 only? Oh my god, I found durian chips. Tak ada rasa durian pun? Haa, durian. 
The taste of durian is quite subtle and I believe this is the seed of durian. This is my first time eating durian chips. In Malaysia, it's not my niche. The durian is so expensive but here in Thailand, how much? 1,100 gram, 120. 100 gram, 120? Yeah. Just 100 gram. 100 gram. Can you make it another bag, 100 gram or so? Mm, 100, ah, 100, 100. Uh, two bag. Two bag ah? Mm. Okay, okay. Got like a bag full of food. Yeah. And just now, all of them cost 675 but it's so heavy. I believe I'm carrying like 10 kilo weight. After shopping here, then I haven't really actually walk and see everything. So I'm wrapping up my visit today here in Kim Yong Market. I've bought quite a lot of stuff here from the dried snacks like jackfruit, durian chips, all the seeds, the cashew. We are going back on Tuk Tuk on Santo. They charge us 30 baht per person. Actually our hotel is just within walkable distance but my aunt she can't walk anymore because we carry a lot of stuff. So we're taking Tuk Tuk. It's close to 6.30 p.m. and it's been raining the whole day. I mean, they rain heavily but like 4 to 5 times in a day. So we are going to Klonghe Seafood. Just now we are trying to haggle the price to go to the Klonghe Seafood because not many to, to go there. And we are trying to see which one is the best bargain. I did to go or grab because the grab is around 167 baht. And the tuk tuk, the cheapest one that we got is around 150 but I tried to bargain to take us around for the whole night but the tuk tuk just left so I have to go and find another tuk tuk and another tuk tuk charges us 200 so we have no choice then I'll just order the grab to come and pick us up hopefully we'll be able to go there and then we'll have some time to spend to go to Asian night market tonight so let's go guys After that crazy queue, we finally made it into Klonghe Buffet Seafood Halal. It cost 299 baht per person, so let's see what deliciousness awaits. First things first, gotta grab these sea water prawns and blue fresh water prawns. You can find this for this price back home in Malaysia. You can grill it on your own on the charcoal or cook it in their amazing steamboat. And if you are feeling lazy, there are plenty of pre-cooked dishes to choose from. They also have a whole salad bar with all the fixings. Alright, after a few rounds of deliciousness, let's rehydrate with some water. Now, on to the best part. These are all dessert section. They have a whole section dedicated to Thai sweets. I'm gonna mix and match some ice, grass jelly, coconut milk, nata di coco, and all sorts of toppings. This is the perfect ending to a fantastic seafood feast and to finish it off, 3 scoops of ice cream. So that's it for our Halal Seafood Buffet Adventure in Hat Nyai. This place is definitely worth the hype and the queue. It's affordable, delicious and has something for everyone. So that's your Hat Nyai border crossing, market and seafood buffet adventure on a budget. Hopefully this video will give you some idea if you're thinking on hitting Hat Nyai on a budget. So for those of you who have already conquered Hat Nyai, spill the beans. What's your favourite spots and share your travel tips on the comment down below. If you have enjoyed this trip to Hat Nyai with me, smash that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe for more adventures in Hat Nyai coming your way. So until next video, stay curious and stay adventurous. Assalamualaikum and take care.